Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Octoman and this is the walkthrough, well no, more the let's play of Epic War Saga in version 1.00 which is in the open beta state now as you can see over here, 7 hours ago it was released to the open beta. So thanks to all of these guys which have made this one available like Rudy itself from Art Logic Games as well as Kolai who did all the numbers and all the other stuff and of course all the admins in the Discord channel as well as all the people helping out with the game. So uh, what we can do is we can instantly go and play this one directly on congregate.com if you like to or even directly on the Epic War Saga servers I guess. So hopefully my voice is loud enough so you're able to hear it. Meanwhile the music is running in here. So we are starting off with a completely new level zero in this case. So everything got reset with yeah with the game itself so when we can what we can do now is we can check out all the tutorial stuff in here so once again we're gonna see that these are going to be the mastery points so the more stars we're gonna earn the more bonus we get as well as we're gonna have to pay energy per round per mission we are playing so and also in here you can see all the rewards we are able to get so it's going to be a hamburger and a strange mushroom in a rare drop as well as 5 xp and 50 gold so also you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here so we're gonna have arena action for later cases as well as crystals and a starting gold of 400 so let's get into it and every time you're gonna play a new mission you of course want to make sure what are the units uh, being played by the AI in this case and what is the element of the AI as well as what skills do they have active and of course all the other stuff important in here so what we can do is we can go into the battle everything for me currently is on double speed we can uh, do whatever the tutorial wants us to do or just ignore it so we can go press D to walk right with our Vigro of the Red we can go left as well we can send a decent amount of creatures in here and they want us to spawn something probably not the hobbits we are going to use but maybe the elf rangers itself so we can and do some decent damage directly and the easiest way in here is of course using these elf rangers and the lead grill borg uh, yeah come as close as possible so probably all the elf rangers are going to be able to actually yeah get rid of his health and meanwhile not even yeah needed to yeah to walk around so when we go close to the sky we are also able to do some damage and probably these little hobbits in here will not do that much amount of damage to us as well as we are probably able to hit uh, him with our skill if we are not that unskilled so let me go to the left and somehow I'm taking a good amount of damage here so and let my uh, units do all the rest for us and we're gonna change our hero in just a second so I already took too long time here in this little tutorial uh, yeah, level so as you can see rather simple if our elf rangers are able to go through so we don't have any drop but we get XP and gold and that's good so the next one the tutorial wants us to check out is the formation tab so we're gonna get into it and we can see when we are able or we are able to choose uh, Pop of the Epic Dwarf who is a earth element so i'm going to go and use that and also we can equip some consumable items if we like to but we don't have to necessarily because these are crap and uh, just placeholder so they want us to play the second mission again or the first mission what i want to do is of course i want to master the 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 first mission in here gonna play another round in this case gonna use popo the epic dwarf and also in the future videos I'm going to use him because he has raging uh, for example so we can make a good use of him and uh, strengthen our yeah our uh, units the game itself is going to be rather farming heavy so probably in the later versions you're gonna need a lot of levels and a lot of uh, yeah power defense and a good amount of uh, un uh, items you want to equip as well as a lot of other cool things in here so as you can see the enemy is going to come extremely close to us and we are able to yeah get rid of him like in 40 
yeah in about 40 seconds and that's cool so what we're gonna do of course is we're gonna repeat that step but beforehand we want to check out all the other things which are yeah given by the tutorial so as you can see in the top left there's a little red mark in here which is showing us hey press on that and what we can do is we can put skill points into uh, yeah into our stats in here so I go full attack for the moment and probably later on as well um, thanks to one of the admins in um, in the discord chat uh, he was uh, telling me that probably these wins are not just arena wins but also probably uh, yeah level wins and as you can see we play or I played already two times so I have like two wins now so arena rewards probably go here so all the battle points we're going to get going to land and here we're gonna talk about all of that stuff later on as well as well everything else and the tutorial now wants us to check out the village so as you can see you can recruit new heroes units equipment can be bought as well as you can upgrade all these yeah temples and stuff uh yeah to your liking you can go later on to blacksmiths and forge new and stronger weapons so we're gonna do all of that meanwhile we are playing the game of course we're gonna go to the monster lab to fuse units to other or new units and of course we're gonna check out all the cool things we are going to get here but the point is we only start with a rather low amount of um, yeah gold in this case so we could probably go and check out the thunder temple as he wants us and probably purchase the little goblin unit in here even if we don't well necessarily need that unit but uh, maybe later on they're gonna become handy here and there since all the numbers in between or since the last release of Epic War Saga have been changed so there has been a lot of number crunching a lot of effects going to be integrated as well as uh, yeah more or less all the strengths and defenses and so on are going to be or have been changed. We also get a reward and we get daily logins where we can instantly get 100 EXP. But the downside is now since I took that already, I just made one level up since all the overflowing EXP have been yeah, just crunched up. So uh, it is not going into the next level with all the complete EXP. It always starts at one in the next level. So take that or keep that in mind uh, for future things. So if you want to claim that day already and then you can do so but probably you don't like to since once again this is going to be uh, yeah an EXP reward probably for level four five six somewhere around there to speed up the things or the level in this case however there are uh, again we can uh, go to the profile and add up 10 more or five more points into attack to get of course more str more strength and what you can see now on home there's also a daily quest and a weekly quest tab and in here you can see there's going to be enter five uh, quests or yeah fire uh, yeah the quest five times sell one item uh, win 15 times enter yeah some other quests 10 times and you're gonna have to do that on a in a daily basis so when you're gonna reach five of these or you finish five of these you're gonna get all these rewards like 50 bucks here xp amount good amount in this case and when you reach the first milestone you're gonna get a an extra of 2000 gold and another milestone of 10 completed quests you're gonna get 10 crystals which we later on use to yeah to get more or cooler units for example or cash shop units in this case but we have to stock up a lot same for the weekly ones in one week which is resetting as you can see over here in four days and ten hours we're gonna have to complete like 60 quests in total but in the end we're gonna get a good amount of gold some of these quick uh, thingies here we're gonna take talk about these later on as well as uh, 50 yeah 50 crystals which is good as well and of course you can purchase some things here and there like the starter pack I guess I'm not sure what's inside so let's check it out you can see you're gonna get instantly a uh, popo uh, the steel armor popo in this case 30 of these things and 30 crystals for only uh, 35 credits and it's going to be be a change here and there I guess so we don't take care of that at the moment so later on we probably want to I don't know yet however that's everything what uh, yeah what's new for the moment there are going to be the arena tab here next to the rewards tab once we yeah once we need it
Okay, so that's it for the little tutorial area in here. In the next video, we're gonna finish up mission one. And of course, we buy some cool units and of course, do some of these daily quests. So you're gonna get a good amount of information about everything I can, yeah, mention and yeah, can make yeah, you informed about. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next part of Epic War Saga. Bye-bye.